This video illustrates how to create inequality equations in an optimization course of the style x equals y. They are equations that have an x term and a y term and the inequality symbol and nothing else in them. The tricky thing is that you have a number, four times as many, twice as many, that sort of multiplication is happening to one of the variables. The difficulty is making sure that your inequality symbol is facing the right way and making sure that number is on the right side of the symbol. Let's look at the first example. There must be at least four times as many pencils as there are pens. In this case, I've defined x as the number of pencils and y as the number of pens. I place my x and my y and I have to put the inequality symbol in between them. Will it be a less than or equal to sign or greater than or equal to sign? In this case, we see the words at least. At least indicates a greater than or equal to symbol. Right now, my equation is saying the number of pencils is greater than or equal to the number of pens. All that's left is for me to put the four in. The common mistake is that the student puts the four with the number of pencils. Four times as many pencils, they put the four with the X, which represents pencils. But that is a mistake. And here's how you make sure to do it right every time. You ask yourself, which number is going to be bigger, the number of pencils or the number of pens? It's easy to understand that if there are four times as many pencils as pens, the number of pencils has to be bigger. Why would you multiply the bigger number by four to get the smaller number? That doesn't make sense. Instead, you will multiply the smaller number by 4. We will multiply the number of pens by 4 to try to equal the number of pencils. Let's do some more examples. There must be no more than twice as many girls as there are boys. The first thing I do is I place an X and a Y. Now, no more than indicates a less than or equal to sign. Now, the word twice represents 2. It means something is being multiplied by 2. Either the x or the y is being multiplied by 2. To figure out which one, I ask myself, which one will be the larger number? No more than twice as many girls as there are boys means far more girls than boys. We would not multiply the larger number by a 2 to equal the smaller. That doesn't make sense. We will not multiply the number of girls by 2 to try to equal the number of boys we will multiply the number of boys by 2. So we're multiplying the y by 2 in this case. 